What is going on guys and girls, it is Julian here back here with a brand new video and today we are bringing you a squad builder uh, with a bit of brotherly love. We're going to bring in some brotherly love. Obviously we're going to do a squad builder around the team of the season, MLS All-Star Giovanni Dos Santos because he looks incredible. But we're also going to be inserting his brother Jonathan into the side. Luckily enough, he is now transferred over to LA Galaxy and even better, his transfer card is now a central midfielder instead of a right mid, which he was, which uh, he was at Villarreal. So we've obviously gone for the best formation when it comes to centre mid to strike a perfect link, and that is the four-three-three, number three, two CDMs, and we built a pretty decent squad around the, the team. Um, you know, it's a pretty decent squad. In goal, we go for Jack Butland, footies card. He's played sixty-five games for me. He's in my uh, my uh, what's it called team, uh, my main team, just because I want. 30 sets smalling in here, and I'm two days ago. What the hell, really? Um, he does a shift, he ain't too bad. He's much better than his normal card. 86 diving, 90 reflexes, 89 handling, 77 kicking, and 85 positioning. And he's six foot five, six foot five, sorry, so he is a tall guy. At right back, we go for Bruno Perez, who's actually up for voting for um, the right back um, of the footies, which would be pretty cool if he did win. But Klein's in there, so Klein's going to win, so it's just the way it goes. But he's got 92 pace, 71 passing, 81 dribbling, 74 defending, 75 physical. And he's just pure sweat. And at left back, we go for a transfer card. It's Jetra Williams over to Frankfurt and transferred over from, I think it was, uh, was it PSV he was at? Was it? Yeah, it was PSV, I think it was. 81 pace, 79 dribbling, 75 defending, 78 passing, 77 physical. And obviously, that cheeky four-star skill moves. Both centre-backs are both Man United players. And the first one is Daily Blind. Um, 61 pace, 81 defending, and 76 physical. He's more there for chemistry because, uh, well, I needed him to get that double strong link to Chris Smalling. But, you know, Blind's not a bad player, to be honest. I think he's pretty decent. But in comparison, he is nowhere near anything to Chris Morning. 80 pace, 89 dribbling and sorry, 89 defending and 89 physical, six foot four, medium high work rates, um, sixty six games for this guy, one goal, one assist, so he is very capped for my club. Um, he'll be hitting that 100 very, very soon. CDM, we go for a... Uh, he's a lone player because I was too lazy to go out and actually do the SBC. And it's the footy... Oh, not footy. It's the uh, footmus de Rossi. And then we've got Sebastian Roda on the other side. Um, but he has have 71 pace, 75 dribbling, 85 defending, 78 passing, and 86 physical. 6 foot 1, medium high work rates. Um, yet to use him. But, you know, we're going get to get him a couple of games in this team. And then the other CDM, Sebastian Roda, is... He's there for chemistry because he's better than Julian Weigel of Eagle. Um, and you can't really play Castro at CDM. But to be honest, he's actually really, really good. 75 pace, 74 dribbling, 79 defending, 79 physical, and 72 passing. He's only 5 at 10, which is a bit of a letdown. But he does have high, high work rates, so he's up and down all over the pitch. Um, 26 games with this guy, 3 goals, 3 assists from central midfield when he was in one of my other main teams before I did uh, change it around. Obviously, central midfielder is the first Dos Santos brother, and it is Jonathan, um, transferred from Villarreal over to LA Galaxy. 71 pace, 82 dribbling, 82 passing, 68 shots, 67 physical, 5 for 8. You know, he's there as a central midfielder, but if you look at his other card before he got transferred, um, it was a right mid, which is awful, because why would you want to right mid with 71 pace? At centre mid, this guy is so much more usable. Yes, he does play for LA Galaxy, which is an alright team in the MLS, which is obviously not the best league, but that perfect link to his brother really does help him out. Right wing, we go for Domenico Berardi, because why not? He's incredible. He's such an OP card on this game and so underused. Left wing, we go for Marco Arroyo, obviously that perfect link to Sebastian Aroda. Um, he is incredible. 90 pace, 86 dribbling, 85 shooting, 84 passing, 5 for 11, medium, medium, one crates, four star skills, four star weak foot, and um, first owner, which I was pretty enough uh, pretty lucky enough to pack him. 74 games with this guy, 31 goals, 33 assists. Um, not a best record, but he did start off really, really poorly for me. And then he just pulled it out of the bag when I was using him up top with... He was in a 4-3-2-1 up top with uh, Lewandowski um, uh, and Dembele. Um, he played really, really well. So, you know, he brought his record up a little bit. Um, and then we've got Domenico Barardi, one of the most underused cards on this game. And his stats are phenomenal. 88 pace, 85 dribbling, 80 shooting, 75 passing, 72 physical, 6 foot tall, left footed on the right hand side, which is the best. Three star skills, three star weak foot. Um, that three star skills is what lets him down. If he had four star skills, he'd be one of the best cards on this game, and uh, he'd be probably the most overused right winger in the Serie A. And then the final player is obviously the striker, and it is Giovanni Dos Santos, his team of the season MLS card. 92 pace, 92 dribbling, 90 shooting, 83 passing, 5 foot 9, high low work rates, four star weak for four star skill moves, comes out of pack as a centre forward, easily enough to convert uh, to striker with those stats. 73.5k. 
a kind of price here, but he's definitely dropped in the last few days, which is what you want, um, especially from the MLS All-Stars, because I think they're actually out of packs today, I think, um, if I'm correct in saying that. But that's the team. It looks pretty good. It looks, like, it looks usable. So let's go get our first opponent and see how well the brotherly love of the Santos, Giovanni, sorry, Gio Giovanni and Jonathan really, really goes. Let's get that first opponent. Right, boys, the first opponent, we do go into foot champs, and that is a pretty, pretty insane side. He's got foot, he's Butland, Smalling, and Shaw. He's got Bartra, he's got Timnus and Pishek, end of an era, Alonso. He's got Vidal, uh, Footy's nominee, Sanchez. He's got Talisa transferred, and then Mbappe and Sansone, which is pretty interesting. This is a CDM at striker. So, pretty OP team. Playing at Fram Park, little little legend. But um, I want to see how well the, the brothers do. So, uh, yeah, let's get into it. Right, okay, we're 1-0 down. Morgan Sansone has uh, scored in three minutes. Well, then, that's, uh, that's not a good start, if I'm uh, if I'm completely honest. But we've still got a lot of the game left to go. And it was just a, a breakaway, but I'm, I'm, I'm not down and out yet. That was unlucky, Dominico. First time of finesse, that weren't too bad. Oh, that boy, my God, what a finish. Jonathan Dos Santos within like four minutes of conceding, I think like, like six, just dribbles past Wall in into the box and lets some ferocious left footed shot into the top corner and we're back to level terms. I don't know what what happened there. I went to pass it with Well Elms and somehow we didn't do anything. And then Blin just got absolutely dominated from Mbappe. You know, that's that happens in, in football unfortunately. And he uh, he did just dominate me with Mbappe and I despise his card. Like the eighty nine one whether it be his player of the year or his team of the season, and it's just stupid OP. I don't know what Butler was doing. He was trying to save an invisible ball that was going in the top corner. But Oh, what a lovely team goal. Dos Santos through to Royce, who does the nice little turn, lets the ball roll. Nice bit of dribbling and a decent little pass into Giovanni, who taps that past Butland into the bottom corner. And we're back to level pegging. Oh, Giovanni through. Is he going to make it the hat trick? He does. 35 minutes played. Five goals scored in this game. Three of them by Giovanni. This is an incredible team of the season card. Absolutely fantastic. 73.5k so far. He's proving that worth. What a player. Oh, bloody hell. I took a deflection off the bar. No one goes for a button that saves with his foot. That was a bit dodgy. Oh, Sanson is through. Oh, what a save. And somehow it's bouncing off my defender. <sighs> That's ridiculous. I don't know what, what happened there. And I don't know why he keeps doing this. He celebrates for ages and then finally ends it. But it's irritating. Blind again causing causing issues. Scores an own goal. Right, half time, three all. And we've been pretty dominant. Fifth five shots for target. He's at six and three. We had fifty seven percent possession. And even passing with him having 84 and us having 85. Let's get into the second half. Make sure Blind doesn't fuck up anymore. Uh, and doesn't cost us any, any more goals. And uh, come out with the win. Because we're in foot champs and we need the win. Oh, Vidal's gonna made it. 4-3 in the 70th. At half time... He went uber sweaty. He went and took off Bartra, bought on Plant Hart, assuming his team of the season. And then there was obviously Papishek at centre back. And then he's also gone and brought on Talvin for um, Taliso. So I feel like he's put Talvin up front and Sansone back at DM. But unfortunately, we are now losing um, this, at the end of this very competitive game. So hopefully, we can get back into it and uh, get the win. Oh, 
and we're already back in the game. Two minutes since he scored, and we are back to level pegging. A beautiful move, started by Jetro, finished off by, of course, Giovanni. What a player. Four goals. He is insane. Go and get him. Seriously. Ah, oh, Falvin through. What a save by Butland. Takes out for a corner. It's actually the first... Well, he's made six saves in this game, apparently. But I don't feel like he's done that well. He's got another corner. As that last one was bundled out. Is he going to play it short? Or is he... Is he faking? Nah, he's going to... That was weird and pointless. Oh, Giovanni puts Aroda through, saved, and Barati completely scuffs the rebound as he goes for it on his weak foot. That could have been the goal that got us into uh, into the second round. Oh, Jonathan. Jonathan has got us the goal in the 90th minute. A nice bit of play by De Rossi. Puts him through and he absolutely taps that inch perfectly into the bottom corner. A nice one too with Royce. Holds up the ball. A cheeky back kill and a tapping finish by Jonathan. What a goal. What a win, hopefully. I haven't jinxed it, have I? Free kick easily saved. Alonso's free kick. And we'll... Oh, we've got that. Boot it. There we go. Boot it. Fall into the second round. Second game. We're going to smash it. Jonathan De Santos is an absolute legend. What a game for him. Four goals, beginning with a 10.0. Two assists to De Rossi. One to Roda. One to Royce. And one to Berardi. Both De Santos brothers playing. Right, boys. Second game. Very sweaty Prem side. He's got no actual footies cards. He's got all the nominees. He's got Butler and Smalling. Um, Shaw, Manolas, he's got Florenti, Informan Golden, um, Fernando, he had uh, Dembele, he had Player of the Month, 89, Sun, he had one to watch Mane, and I think it was Roberto Firmino up front, so uh, pretty OP side if I'm not going to lie, but none of the footies cards are boosted, which is what I wanted to see. I don't know why he's going to collect them and not boosted them, maybe he didn't understand how it went. But let's get into it and let's hopefully come out with a win. Oh, Firmino, snapshot, saved and cleared very nicely by Perez. Oh, Mane strengths off. I think it was Jetro, and when it's Mane in that position, he's going to score. Especially when it's the 87 foot, uh, the, uh, sorry, 87 um, one to watch. That's irritating that we're one nil down, but we went one nil down last game and we came out on top. So, you know, we still got ages left. Still got seventy minutes. It's fine. I don't know why Bruno Perez was there, but he he was there. He had the shot out for a corner. I would take it with Brady because he's left footed. Oh, that's too close to the keeper. What am I doing? Why did I do that? Right, boys, half time. We are 1 0 down. It's been pretty dead. It's been, been pretty dead. He's controlled the game. He's a, he's a very good player. He, I've had one shot. He's had three, two on target, lots of possession, and better passing, unfortunately. So hopefully we can turn this around in the second half and come out with a win, because that's what we need. Oh, Giovanni. That was unlucky. Bottom corner tapping. Nearly, nearly worked. Corner with this in who's there. De Rossi, big header. Out for another corner on the other side. So we can swap this over to uh, Dominico. Put that near the middle. Bru Bruce Royce is there. I think that's, yeah, out for another corner. A string of corners right now. Um, not good enough though because it's not getting us any goals or any anything near a goal. Smalling's got that blocked away. Oh my god, for some reason Bruno Perez was playing left back. His low cross went all the way across the box and somehow Giovanni's shot was saved. Don't understand that. That's, that's, that's actually irritating. Oh, son, that was a, a powerful shot. Nicely cleared by Roda. We've only got 10 minutes left to try and get us a goal and get us into extra time. 
I don't know that we're going to do it, unfortunately. Especially with passing like that. Oh, man, it's uh, over the bar. It's nothing to worry about. Oh, Giovanni, of course he's done it. Of course. 81 minutes played. Great breakaway between him and Jonathan. And a lovely finish. Past the keeper, putting us back to 1-0. Oh, Roberto, that was... Uh, <laughs> that was lucky. That was not. That was not. I was going to tramp it. Oh, come on, man. Just as we were getting back into the game, we make one mistake. Poor throw out. And uh, we get punished. We get punished with the tramp. Damn it. It's right. We've still got like six minutes to get back into this game. We've still got time. Oh, Giovanni Royce. Oh, what a... You can't write this stuff. You can't write this stuff. 81st minute, we're one all. 88th minute, we're two all. Lovely bit of one-two play between the, the players. Giovanni puts it through to Royce, who on his left foot taps it comfortably past the keeper. Lovely stuff. Oh, Giovanni, how has he not scored there? And it's half-time. Well, not half-time, sorry, full-time. We're full-time. I just realised my TV is a little bit loud. I apologise about that. Um... Mental, mental game, absolutely mental game. We've had nine shots, seven on target, six and four for him. We've definitely evened it up and brought it back in the second half. Extra time, and Jonathan is absolutely knackered. Let's get into it. Oh, we've lost connection to the servers. I think we've been booted. All the way back to the menu. Yeah. We've been booted off by the menu. Back in a second. So, we got DNF'd. Don't know why it disconnected, but it did. And we've been booted from the from the game. We did come out as a loss, which is irritating. I don't know why it happened. Nothing wrong with the internet. So, uh, unfortunately, that's just the way it is. But I'm going to leave the episode there, guys. Hope everyone enjoyed. Go on by Giovanni. He's insane. He's really, really good. Um... Take it off my part. He scored five goals in, in two games, so especially foot champs games as well. So go out, go buy him, go try him out. Let me know what you think of him down in the comment section below and on Twitter. Links down in the description below. Please leave a like on the video, leave a sub if you're in the round here. Until next time, guys, have an awesome day. I shall see you all later. Bye.